In the sport of running, drama can happen at any given moment. And if there was one event this season that was non-stop, never-ending, absolute madness when it came to records being broken, it was certainly in the marathon. From Kipchoge's new epic world record in this year's Berlin Marathon in 2 hours, 1 minute, and 9 seconds, to historic all-time splits achieved in this year's New York City Marathon and in the London Marathon, to multiple record-setting debut marathons going down throughout this entire season, 2022 was a year of constant history in the world's biggest races. However, what happened in this year's Chicago Marathon was so incredible that it opens up endless possibilities for world record breakthroughs. Right from the beginning of this year's Chicago Marathon, it was apparent that we were in for a potential record-setting performance, because Ruth Chepengedic from Kenya was running much faster than many of the top men athletes in this race. You just never see this in a global marathon. For the entire opening half marathon, she set the record for fastest splits ever recorded over every single stage, including an opening half marathon split of 1 hour 5 minutes and 44 seconds, a downright ridiculous pace of 5 minutes flat per mile, or 3 minutes and 7 seconds per kilometer. For much of the opening 30 minutes here, we even saw Chep and Gedich running right next to Patrick Tiernan from Australia, the former national record holder over the 10,000 meters and the owner of a half marathon personal record of 1 hour and 55 seconds. Tiernan was even the NCAA champion in cross country a few years ago, so the fact that Chep and Gedich was running with such an elite caliber male athlete is just something completely unprecedented. Indeed, this opening stage was quite amazing, as you genuinely never see anything like this in the marathon. And the more we break down these opening splits, the crazier her times truly get. For her very first mile, she hit a time of 4 minutes and 50 seconds. For her opening 5k split, she hit a time of 15 minutes and 11 seconds. And for her opening 10k, she hit a time of 30 minutes and 40 seconds. At this point in the race, she was now over two minutes ahead of any other female athlete in this field. And even though these opening splits were outrageous, her most impressive split came just before the halfway point. Through the opening 10 miles, Chep and Gedich split a time of 49 minutes and 49 seconds, more than 40 seconds faster than any previous 10-mile performance by a female athlete. Even against all previously recorded 10-mile splits, which include half-marathon and marathon performances, this is the only official time that has ever gone under 50 minutes. On both World Athletics and the AllTimeAthletics.com page, we see that this 10-mile split is currently faster than any other previously recorded time, and the fact that this happened in a marathon, not in a half-marathon, is simply incredible. Now, this opening half marathon was beyond impressive, and her pace had her at a projected finish of just under 2 hours and 12 minutes. But unfortunately, Chep and Gedich paid the price for this early tempo, fading slightly over the final 10k to finish in 2 hours, 14 minutes, and 18 seconds. Just 14 seconds outside of the current world record. Despite holding world record tempo for the vast majority of this race, her early pace likely caused her the world record here, and overall, she split half marathon times of 1 hour 5 minutes and 44 seconds for the first half, followed by a time of 1 hour 8 minutes and 34 seconds for the second half, almost 3 minutes slower than her opening half marathon. If Chep and Gedich had paced her opening half slightly slower, let's say around 66 minutes and 30 seconds, the odds are that her closing half marathon would have yielded a time fast enough to run under Bridget Koskei's world record. But regardless of the finishing time here, this was one of the most impressive and ridiculous performances in marathon history. And with opening splits like this, including yet another world record through 30 kilometers at 1 hour 34 minutes and 1 second, more than 1 minute faster than any time before her, Chep and Gedich proved her speed in a remarkable way in this race, and upon hitting the marathon circuit once again in 2023, the world record of 2 hours 14 minutes and 4 seconds is certainly on the table. Now, even though this was one of the most impressive opening stages in any marathon, we also saw two other marathon performances this season that very much do mimic what Ruth Chep and Gedich just did. 
As we touched on just a few minutes ago, Elliot Kipchoge broke the world record in this year's Berlin Marathon, running a time of 2 hours, 1 minute, and 9 seconds. And for his opening half marathon, he split a time of 59 minutes and 51 seconds. Just like Chepin Gedich's opening half, this 59.51 was completely unprecedented, as he even ran faster than his sub 2 hour marathon attempts back in 2017 and his successful sub 2 hour attempt in 2019. Also, in a very similar way to Chepin Gedich, Kipchoge did slow down slightly over the second half. However, unlike Chepin Gedich, he did manage to break the world record, running faster than his previous world record by 30 full seconds. Also, beyond just what the GOAT Kipchoge did this season, we simply have to mention what Daniel de Nascimento from Brazil did in this year's New York City Marathon. Now, what de Nascimento did in this race is actually pretty similar to what Kipchoge and Shepin Gedich did achieve, as he was running significantly faster than any other athlete in this field, and considering that this is New York, the fact that his opening half marathon was well under 62 minutes is absolutely unbelievable. But the simple fact is that he did not finish this race, so we do have to point that out here, because while he did go out extremely quickly and set all-time marks for the fastest miles ever run in a marathon, he ultimately fell short. But the fact that he did run farther than 30 kilometers is a pretty impressive feat, so even though he did not finish, I still think he deserves some credit for this performance. And if he can simply stay a little bit more patient and run the race that he is able to complete, I think that he has a solid chance of running inside 2 hours and 4 minutes, and potentially running inside 2 hours and 3 minutes. Now, outside of the fact that he did not finish this race, the only big difference between Kipchoge's performance, Chepin Gedich's performance, and Dinashimiento's performance was how inconsistent Dinashimiento's early splits were. During the very early stages of this race, over the opening 5K, Dinashimento threw down a split of 4 minutes and 20 seconds for one mile, and then at mile 17, he ran a 4 minute and 17 mile, which according to multiple sources is the single fastest mile split ever run in marathon history. Indeed, Chepin Gedich and Kipchoge ran very quick times, and you could very well make the argument that they ran slightly too quickly over the opening half. And honestly, if the weather's right and Kipchoge does feel good, I think he has at least one or potentially two more years where he could break the two-hour marathon in a marathon major. I'm just going to leave you all with the fact that Ruth Chepin Gedich ran one of the most incredible marathons in the history of the event this year, and at 49 minutes and 49 seconds for the opening 10 miles, she certainly made history, and she very well could break the world record in 2023. Thanks for watching, everyone, and as always, until next time.